Hey guys, we are back. I've had a few questions on this burner and folks are wondering uh, how do you light it, how do you get it going. Um, it's really pretty easy. You see a lot of soot in the bottom of that thing right now. The, you are going to have some soot around that, that pipe dropping down because you got cooler air meeting a hot flame so it's going to have a tendency to soot up there. So, but to get it lighted, or to get it lit, lighted. No proper English here tonight, you know. You know what it is, I was just in the house with uh, my wife and kids and uh, they just scrambled my friggin' brain after a long day at work. I gotta run to the shop as quick as I can. I love my family, but I love my shop even more. So anyway, now I told you I had a uh, stainless steel pan in there. I've tried two of them. I had this thing, this guy right here, I'll turn the flashlight on. I don't know if you can see right there. That's where brazing for that used to sit in this copper bottom pan. That was a stupid mistake. Fire got hot enough, it actually melted the aluminum rivets off, dropped the handle off. But look inside that. Is that ash? That is about a week and a half's worth of burning. That is uh Burning, what have I burned it? Uh, two weekends straight now, all day long, Saturday and Sunday, and every night during the week. That's all the ash out of that. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, so, I'm stuck back with the pan that I cut the top off of because it was too tall. Look at that, it looks like a bed pan now, doesn't it? So, but anyhow, the shape of that, believe it or not, works awesome for me. It actually gets uh, gets it right where I want it. So, cut to the chase here. You're probably tired of me rambling. So to get this thing lit, I'm just going to stick it in there. I have two metal discs, and I should have worn gloves. I have two metal discs that I just stack in there, one on top of the other. And if you can see that. All right. So the oil, I want that oil to drip down and hit those discs, and it acts kind of like a heater. Once this thing gets up to temperature, once this gets up to temperature, that actually vaporizes the oil as it hits it. So you're burning the fumes more than anything. So, and stick that in there. Try not to shake the camera too much. So, I'm take my hillbilly oil valve here. It's going to crack it open. You can see how sluggish that oil is. That's 10W40. It's out of my tractors. Well, that's one reason I uh, suggest the clear tube. You can really watch that oil do what it's got to do. Or you can see how much you're feeding. Now be prepared for this thing to take a minute. This oil that thick, it's cold out here. It's going to take that oil a minute to get down there. There we go. Right there. And you see it's hitting away from center pretty good right now. Once I get the blower turned on, it'll start blowing that right where I want it. So, I'm going to turn the flashlight off, get the torch going. That's ready for me to start lighting it. Now you can do this a couple ways. You can light this with a blowtorch or you can put a little sawdust in the bottom and get a little oil on it. Once that metal gets good and hot, that oil takes right off. I see one guy on YouTube, he mixes up some uh, mineral spirits and kerosene, throws it in the bottom. That seems to work really well. But you can see she started to go. I'm not going to turn that blower on quite yet. I want that flame to take hold a little bit better. I guess I can 
this I'll leave it this way, the pan that way, so you guys can see it a little better. Here it's starting to sizzle. Alright, I'm going to turn that blower on. So, but anyhow, that's how I light it. That's how it gets going. Probably another few minutes this thing will be... There's enough oil filling up in there now. This thing will be raging pretty good. So, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the sawdust burner I'm building now. I'm trying to get all my heat sources built for the barn because I'm, the weather and crap, I haven't been working on the barn much. So, But anyhow, I will catch you guys next time. You have a good night.